Hello my friends, in today's episode I will be showing you how to mix the Cinestill DF96 Monobath black and white chemicals to process your black and white film. So, let's get to the point. Don't want to extend this video up to 30 minutes long, right? So what you will need is, of course, the Cinestill DF96 Monobath single step solution developer and fix powder it would come in handy to have one of these things we will be mixing one liter that's 1000 milliliters so that's in english would be about 35 ounces so it should fit at least that much this one that would go up to here so that's just perfect size we will come in handy a uh, stir stick something to stir the powder with uh, this is a Patterson stirring stick very good quality and not too expensive so it's good to have something I remember my first powder I mixed with a, a long wooden toothpick a thermometer will come in handy also as well to measure your temperature of the water and of course a container to pour it all in after you're done mixing these types of containers are great for chemicals because chemicals when they're sitting around uh, they can lose some of their properties from oxygen and all that so if you would have a regular bottle when you lock it you lock have oxygen inside with it with one of these bottles you squeeze it down of course when it's sitting on the counter it's easier and you lock it like this it creates a vacuum decreasing the amount of workable oxygen that will interact with the solution keeping it in better health for a little longer of course it says that this it has a shelf life of two months used within two months of mixing so you should you should mix when you have quite a bit of black and white film laying around waiting to get developed this is a one liter uh, solution it will last for about 16 rolls doesn't matter if it's 35 millimeter or 120 format film either either It'll last for 16 rolls of such film. So let's get to it. So let's get this opened up. What do we got inside here? Like I thought, we got packets and an empty bag. So the bag's not needed anymore. And we got packets to mix up. We got developer and fixer part A, and we got developer and fixer part B. We add them separately. So there's instructions. We got the agitation instructions, constant agitation, intermittent agitation, minimal agitation, and here with the different temperatures in Fahrenheit and Celsius. What kind of agitation you're using? and how long you need to develop it for it to be normal or pulled or pushed film. So we'll get to that in another video about developing film. For today, we're only mixing. So according to the instructions, we pour in first 600, 700 milliliters of distilled water. Of course, I always use sink water and never had any problem with my film with that, but in one of the future videos, we'll do a comparison about using distilled water and sink water if we find any difference on film. So, six to seven hundred milliliters of water for the beginning would be about a 23 ounces of water. And do we have a temperature for this first water chemical bath? Of course, the I, most ideal temperature for developing film would be about, uh, I keep it at about 21 degrees Celsius, or that would be 70 degrees Fahrenheit, because that's how, that's the temperature I keep at home. 
So if the bottle's standing, I can develop it at any time because it's always room temperature at 21 degrees. So I don't have to worry about raising the temperature or adjusting the temperature. I just pour it into the tank and develop my film without no worries. So that's the easy thing about black and white film. So we'll do the same thing. We'll pour it in at about 21, 22 degrees Celsius uh, water temperature. Good, so we got the water. Ooh, that's hot water. Yep, so we put it a little bit too high now. So let's get our thermometer out. So the thermometer is actually at 22 degrees because that's how it actually is at home currently in this bathroom. So you just try adjusting it as close as possible to 21. All right, we got about 22 and a half. That's not a problem at all. So now we fill up about the required amount, six to 700 milliliters. That's about how much I said there, 23 ounces. At the beginning now, you don't have to be perfect, but later you don't want to overfill because you can't pour out the mixed solution anymore if you pour in too much water. So you gotta be careful about that. You gotta keep a towel handy also to clean your hands off, to wipe your hands off actually. So now let's pour in the part A. Get it lower there. Let's see how we open this. Is that how it works? Well, that was the opening, but that doesn't open. When you start peeling, you should do a down direction of peeling in order for it to fall into below these lines so it can get peeled off nicely. And now we add it all into this solution. Add it all in there. Just like that. And we mix it all up. Now we just keep mixing until it mostly dissolves. You can wait for the bits to settle down a bit so you can cr crush them. That'll help them dissolve a little bit faster. Now it doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but you should get a solution something like this. There will always be something floating from doing it before, no matter how hot I got the water. Somehow there's always something left floating around. I couldn't ever get it 100% to uh, mix with the water. So we'll just continue just like always. Now we add the part B. So what I did before, the mistake that I just tore it across and had to struggle a bit. When you get the end started, you direct it down so it falls below, just like that. Then you got an easy mix, well, easy pouring it in. And it's a nice crystal shape, like if we would be cooking something here. So now we add this. Now we add the crystals. And we do the mixing all over again. And we get some kind of a solution like this. The crystals actually mix, mixed perfectly well. At least I don't see no none falling. There's just that minimal floating stuff from the first powder, but I don't see anything crystal coming down from the second one. So now let's fill it up all the way to one liter. That's 1000 milliliters. That's 35 ounces. So of course you gotta be careful so you don't overfill. I never overfilled, so I don't know what would happen, but I would guess you just need a bit longer development times. A tiny bit over or under will make no difference, but I like to be perfect. So we're perfectly on. You can turn this off now. Now we can still mix it a bit. Try to get the remains mixed up well in there. 
Now let's see, do we have 100%? Nope, there is always something floating there. But that's about what you're supposed to achieve. There we go. So now you won't see how much I filled, but yep, it's perfectly one liter. So now we're gonna fill it up to our bottle, pressure close it, and it will be ready for film developing. So you get the mixing stick out. This bottle is a little bit tough to hold because it's wider than my hand. And we just pour it all in. You don't have to worry about all that trash falling back in there because if it will stand in there a bit longer, it might mix with the water further. And then to close the fluids, we just let's do it over here so it don't run away from us. We just squish it. That's actually a two liter bottle, so it's kind of large for one liter. You squish it all the way down and it's just perfect. There we go. And as you can see, it's pressure sealed. It will last. I always use it within the two months, so it's just a little more comfortable thing. Yeah, so. So that's how you mix the Sinistil DF96 mono bath powder. Stay tuned, remember to subscribe to see the next video where we're developing some black and white film. So I hope you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe to see more videos like this about film photography, film camera repairs, darkroom stuff, chemicals, all that stuff, all that beautiful stuff. Take care and see you in the next video my friends.